Hey guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys the Gummy ROM for the Droid Bionic. This is by KJR31. Uh, this thing is totally fast. It's built on a 4.0.3 ice cream sandwich and it has lots of custom gummy features. And there's even more in the works uh, that will be added to later updated builds. Uh, but so far there's tons of things. This is not as customizable as AOKP, uh, but I'm just so glad that we have development for the Bionic. You know that we had CM9 developed by D-Hacker, which got it all kicked off. Of course, the Axiom ROMs were to follow. Now we have MIUI and Gummy, and there are several more uh, probably coming down the pipeline. Lots of guys jumping on board finally with this Bionic. And uh, so we got lots of cool development uh, to discuss. We're going to start out with Gummy ROM today, and we'll work on some other uh, ROM reviews later on. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this Gummy ROM review. Alright guys, so the first thing you'll notice here is a customizable lock screen. And you guys may have noticed that one from uh, Signage and Mod 7 and also earlier Liberty Builds. You'll notice that you do have this, the navigation keys like an ice cream sandwich. Uh, those are customizable in a sense. I believe that you can add and take those away. In fact, let's go ahead and jump into the settings. So just scroll over to settings and we'll go to gummy settings first. Okay, so you have your general UI settings. That allows for uh, to enable the 180 degree rotation, which should allow you to turn your phone upside down. Now on the Droid Bionic, uh, that's not as important of a feature on uh, like the Galaxy Nexus phone. My audio ports and charging ports are actually on the top, I mean on the very bottom of the phone. So when I'm driving it, it allows me to plug that in. Uh, but on this phone, you know, you've got your audio jack in a pretty good spot. So not sure why you would necessarily need that. Um, but it's there in case you decide you you want to use it. Um, you have the long press back button app kill. So if you were to press uh, this navigation back button, if you uh, had that selected, if you long press that, it would kill it. There's also the uh, enable volume options, unlink notification volume, and status bar brightness slider. If you check that, you can pull down. Uh, you should be able to pull down the status bar. And maybe if I go back, let's see, we'll go back. Maybe if I exit all the way out of that, you should have like a, a brightness indicator. Anyways, it's not there, so, hmm. Okay, well, what that should have done is given you a, a brightness setting in your status bar, but it didn't work. Anyhow, we'll go back into the settings, the gummy settings, system UI tweaks. Now, this allows you to do like a custom carrier text. Of course, I have Droid Modder X there. Uh, you can do whatever you like, of course. The clock style, uh, you can do the center clock, which is what I like. Or you could uh, show clock on the right side like normal, or you could even hide the clock. You can pick your clock color. And I like that ICS blue color. Uh, you can choose your battery types here. Uh, they have some, definitely have some uh, gummy originals. So like you see there's the, the gummy percentage on the bar there and the gummy bar battery which is also specific to uh, gummy, let's see here, the circle battery and you can hide the battery which is what I did because I have the percentage battery there um, which is what I had enabled there. So that's, if you use battery text you're just going to have a text battery with the percentage. That's what I like. It's just big and bold. I can see it uh, pretty easily without having to squint my eyes. That's why I like that one. Uh, but if you hide that one, you can also do the My UI style battery bar, which just adds the power bar up top. Some people like that because it's really sleek and it looks neat. And you can change the battery color. So just do that kind of on the fly to show you. And that changed it to pink. So I'm going to take that one off and go back with my battery text. And uh, you have the date open calendar and the toggle color picker. Uh, so we can actually change the toggles. I'm going to pull down. Now I've got pink toggles there. And if we go back, we have soft key settings. You can enable uh, the soft keys there. Navigation bar colors. You can change those. See, it just changed that to red on the fly, which is really cool. You can change the order. You can change the transparency, so make them 
uh, go away or make them very bright. Long press home action, uh, you can do show recent. So if I long press this, well, I guess I don't have any recents to show. Let's see. Yeah, actually I do. Hmm. For some reason that's not working. Let's see. We'll go back to gummy settings and see what else we have here. Uh, so if I take and check that. It takes a reboot, but that would take my soft keys away. Uh, on the Bionic, there's really no reason for the soft keys because you do have your capacitive buttons here. Uh, so we'll reboot later, but those will now go away while they're here. That red is annoying me, so I'm going to change that. And if we go back, you can go to lock screen settings and choose lock screen style. There's several to choose from. You have the ICS lock screen, which is just the regular slide to unlock or slide to go to camera. You have the slider lock screen, which is more of the AOSP from like gingerbread and whatnot. Rotary lock screen, which is where I had it. Uh, rotary lock screen revamped. So if I turn this off, you'll see that my lock screen changed. Or if I wanted to go to ICS lock screen, you'll see that that changed. You can enable custom app icons on the lock screen. You have battery percentage to always show on the lock screen. Uh, quick password unlock, lock screen before unlock, enable volume rocker to wake. So if I turn it off, now I should be able to just wake with my volume. Uh, don't know why you would need that. Seems kind of lazy, but anyhow, you have that option. Camera slot picker. I pick what toggle you want on the camera slot. So that's pretty cool. I can change that to the sound icon or either the camera so now I can silence my phone real simply just like that um, and then performance you can set your max CPU here uh, with a lot bootloader all we're gonna get is 1000 megahertz you can set your min CPU there you can do a scaling governor this is gonna help with uh, your battery so you can go to like uh, on-demand or or on the other end, if you wanted your phone to be blazing fast and didn't care about your battery life, you could select performance. And uh, being that the Bionic takes the the big, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It takes the, the big card, the big SIM card that is. And so I haven't really been able to check this thing out other than just the Wi-Fi performance. Um, it is said to have working 4G LTE and 3G and of course calling, text messages, and all of the above. Everything should be working perfectly on this ROM. Uh, you may have to go in there. I'm not sure. I think on this one you'll have to go into your more and the mobile networks, network mode. You'll have to go to GSM only. Then go back in there and turn on your LTE CDMA. Now it's not going to show up for me because I don't have my SIM card in there because the SIM card that I'm using for my Galaxy Nexus is the micro SIM card, which doesn't work with this phone, or else I would test it out for you guys. Uh, you should have your tethering and portable hotspot, uh, so you should be able just to turn on your portable, portable Wi-Fi hotspot. That should be working there. And let's see, you do have a Torch app that comes with it. To turn on, let's see. Okay, it says it's not working. Hmm. Other than that, you have this Bluetooth app. And, oh, the camera. That's another big thing that you guys have been really questioning about all this. Let's see, all the ROMs on the Bionic. Some of them have had a working camera. Some of them have not. So the camera works here. Also, the front-facing camera works here cheese and your camcorder works so I can actually I can record a short video here that will work okay so looks like the looks like the camcorder actually freezes up and force closes the camera application the camera works no problems you saw that I took some pictures there front facing and rear facing cameras uh, but that is the gummy ROM for the Droid Bionic. So far, it's a very solid ROM. It comes with uh, lots of customization features. It comes with the gummy wallpapers. And this thing is built for performance, built for battery life. Uh, so guys, you can check me out at droidmoderx.com for all the latest in ROMs, mods, and hacks. And news for your Android device. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx with an E9 to 3. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. And uh, give this video a big thumbs up if, if you've... I found any help in any way. Thanks, guys.